Hey guys, welcome to the first edition of Forge Ahead, our men's ministry podcast. We just want to take a few minutes each week and encourage you and challenge you and just think about things that we need to be thinking about as men. And I hope you'll join us each week and, and I'll just share some things that are on my heart or if we hear from you about some things you want to know about, we'll be glad to go there. What I'd like to do this week as we look towards Mother's Day this Sunday is just talk about honor. You know, in the Ten Commandments, God made clear that children were to honor their parents. Jesus affirmed that again in the book of, uh, of Matthew that we're to honor parents. As we think about Mother's Day and think about honoring moms, I want to tell you men that you can help your children learn to honor their mother. And I thought of just three things I want to share with you today that will help you think about not just this next week, but through the course of time your children are in the home growing up, three things you can do to help them uh, honor their mother. The first is always praise her. Uh, you should always speak well of your wife before your children. You should speak to the great things that you see in her. I, I would frequently, when my children were growing up, Luann was a great cook, and I would often at the dinner table remind them of how fortunate we were to have a mom that provided meals for us so well. Or sometimes I would remind them that because her mom had chosen to give up her career and be a stay-at-home mom, they had many, many advantages. But if you'll always praise and always speak well of your wife, that will help your children learn to honor her. Secondly, and I'm going to give these to you very simply, A, B, C. Secondly, always be a help. You know, the, the time has long gone when men thought it was okay for them to work out of the home and everything in the home, raising the kids, keeping the house, was, was up to the wife. That was her job. That just doesn't work anymore. Our kids need to see us engaged with their mom. They need to see that we're a team, that we work together. Everything from washing the dishes to putting the kids to bed, Whatever you're doing in, in raising your children and running a household, it's not just her responsibility. In fact, honestly, if you think about it, men are the leaders in the home. So you need to be leading out in every way, including being a team player with your wife and letting your kids see the value in that. And then finally, letter C. Letter A was always praise, always speak well of her. Letter B, uh, be a help, let your kids see that. Letter C, I would tell you, you need to create an oasis for your wife. There need to be some times that even though you've worked hard all day, you recognize she's worked hard all day, there need to be some times you come home and you just give her the opportunity to get away. That may just be going to the back bedroom and closing the door for 30 minutes to kind of get rebalanced, but, but you just take over and you create an island or an oasis for her, a time of renewal when she can kind of get her bearings and, and get back on course. Hey, just some simple ideas. Uh, always praise her, speak well of her. Be a help all the time, let your kids see that, and create an oasis for her, a time that she can renew and recharge. I hope these things will help you as you think about helping your kids honor their mom. And don't forget, Sunday is Mother's Day. Don't miss the opportunity to honor her Sunday.